Phil and Rosalie Furlan from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. Welcome to another great day and welcome of course to Church on the Beach. Glad that you've joined us. Today we continue on with the call of God. Let's remember we are casting out handfuls of seed. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 1 says, Cast your bread upon the waters and you shall find it after many days. So in the call of God I'm using people and characters that have been such an influence in my own life. For instance we have been looking at the call of Abraham. And on many occasions he has encouraged me to get out of my own comfort zone and do the will of God. I would like you to have a willing heart to do whatever God speaks to you about. Today we're going to look at the call of Isaiah the prophet. The call and the encounter that he had with God would change his life forever. And would affect generations to come. It still has an effect on me, and it will affect you too. Let's look at the book of Isaiah, chapter 6. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Uzziah was a good, good king, but he died of leprosy. Many times we have to let things die in our own life before we can come into the purposes of God. To have a revelation of Him and to know the Lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ. In a vision, Isaiah said, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and the skirts of His train filled the most holy part of the temple. Above Him stood the seraphim, each has six wings, with two they cover their face, with two they cover their feet and with two they flew. They were crying out, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. The whole earth is full of His glory. At the sound of their voices the doorposts and the thresholds shook and the temple was filled with smoke. So much was the powerful presence of the Almighty in that temple and around about Isaiah. Woe to me, I cried, I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live amongst a people of unclean lips. And my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Then one of the seraphs flew to me with a live coal in his hand, a coal that he had taken from the altar of the Lord. With it he touched my mouth and said, See, this has touched your lips, your guilt is taken away, your sin is atoned for. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Today I believe the same voice of the Lord is ringing out to the nations, to those that would hear, saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Isaiah said, Here am I, send me. Isaiah was available and had a willing heart to go anywhere God would send him. God wants us to have a willing heart, a willing heart to serve him whatever. The Bible says that many are called, but few are chosen. We know that God has chosen us, but we have to make a choice to serve Him and to follow Him. As missionaries, many times we've been called out to the Pacific Islands. In fact, we go again next week to the islands of Fiji. I remember years ago, I was over in the Fiji Islands and I'd been there for some time, living with the Fijians in their own villages. I was beginning to get very homesick, just missing Rosalie, the family, and of course my own bed. And I was walking along this beach and feeling sorry for myself and I began to question God about the call. And I could think of plenty of others that could do a far better job than what I was doing. And I believe the good Lord spoke into my heart and said, Yes, there are plenty of others, but not many people are willing to go. 
But I know that God wants us to be willing. If we're willing, God can take us anywhere He wants us to go. And through us, He can fulfill His purposes. Let's all continue to have a willing heart to serve the Lord. May God really bless you.